Hi there and welcome back. As always, there is lots to do. First of all, I will continue working on the bathroom. Later on, I will give you a tour on a tiny, tiny house that my brother built. And of course, I will have to prepare everything for a very special guest arriving on Monday. One of my patrons is visiting us. So, let's get started. Today's project is, well, the wall. Not Pink Floyd's wall, but this one. Although I'm a teacher. But anyway, let's get right into it. Like last time, I start by installing a wooden substructure first. These wooden slats leave just enough space to hide the pipes and insulation and are thin enough not to lose too much space of this already small room. I must confess that, as always, it's a little bit overdone. Maybe some vertical slats just behind the hems of two plasterboards would have been enough as well. But my concern is that the tiles or the joints might crack if the plasterboards remain too flexible. So therefore the horizontal slats. And while I'm struggling with my beloved bathroom, there is someone standing next to our house already staging his tiny accommodation. A year ago my brother bought this van as a used car. Just an empty commercial vehicle and it just took him 12 months to convert it into this. Everything is handmade or at least made to measurement. He did everything by himself, from building the kitchen to installing a smaller shower room, including a personal shower. The entire electric is solar powered, so that he is able to travel around living to 100% on battery. He tried to explain the electric system to me, but to be honest, I did not understand exactly what he was talking about. But hey, there is another outside shower. And fully packed, there is even space for two mountain bikes. Uh, 
I'm a bit jealous, I must confess. But back to business. As I did last time for the shower head, I'm installing some blocking for the shower cabin so that I've got something to install it to. I love these nailing screws. Does this word make sense? I did not find a translation for these thingies. Basically, they are nails that you hammer including their dowels into the brick wall. And you can even use a screwdriver to remove them. I love it. drywall time. Some of you asked whether these narrow drywall sheets are standard size here in Germany. Well, yes and no. We've got both. Commercial builders usually use sheets that are double as wide as these ones. DIYers prefer these smaller ones as they are much easier to handle for one person. Of course, there will be much more joints to speckle in the end, but this will be Laszlo's job. Another wall finished. Although the weather is still quite nice at the moment, it is already autumn in our little middle of nowhere. And this means breaking. Today I will pick up one of my patrons and her friend at the airport. So, the property has to be spotless. On camera I always take good care that the area I'm filming in is tidy and nice. But in this case I have to clean everything.
Our neighbor Udo and me, we always have some kind of competition who has the better cordless power tools. Now he bought a battery powered lawnmower. He gave it to me for a little test run. Because Germany is quite densely populated, we do not use noisy petrol lawnmowers that often. That's why I have my tethered lawnmower. It's quite tricky to mow the lawn without cutting the cable. So this battery powered one is much more comfortable. But I think it lacks a bit of power. The cuttings tend to stick in the tunnel between mower and cloth catcher. As I said, today one of my pet ones will arrive and stay for a week. Every year one of my patrons gets the chance to stay for a week with us and see and experience every mistake I make first hand. So if you are interested to visit us as well, the link to my Patreon page is in the description. Maybe next time you will even see my Patreon on camera. Stay healthy.